Here comes Peter Cottontail hopping down the bunny trail. Well, not quite yet, but in just a few days, he will be. And with all that hopping around, we're going to need some snacks to keep him and us all energized. Melissa Carrier-Damon is the blogger behind Rainbow Palettes. She stopped by to demonstrate some spring and Easter inspired healthy treats that are good to eat, but also fun to make. Welcome, Melissa. Thank you. I am always blown away every time I see what you create <laughs> because it's just so great. So let's start off by just talking about some different things you did to make them Easter and spring inspired. And let's start mm -hmm. over here. Yeah, so first over here, um, we just made an egg, um, just cut strips of cheese for bunny whiskers, then use your bacon to make the little ears, and then some blueberries for the eyes. So it's just a fun um, breakfast for kids to make. It looks like the bacon's actually stuck to the egg too, right? Or is it just where you set them under? I just put them underneath, oh, yep, so okay. it's a full piece. Okay, very smart, because then you can take it apart and mm -hmm. eat it separately if you like to do that. Yep. And then behind it, are these... I'm guessing yogurt. So, yep, these are just yogurt. I've done them too where I've added fruit to them, but these are just um, yogurt, Greek yogurt, and then you put them in the little molds. You get these little sticks, freeze them, and they're perfect treat. So you put the yogurt in, put the stick in, and then how long do they need to freeze for? Um, at least probably about two hours. Okay. And then they're good for a couple months, so mm, yum. super easy Looks snack. delicious. Okay, now I think these are probably my favorite. <laughs> Yeah, these are very good. So these are just um, oatmeal, peanut butter, um, some vanilla, some cocoa powder. Kind of mix those up, shape them into little nests, um, and then use the little chocolate eggs for the eggs. These are, are no cute. bake? They're no bake, Okay, yes. so super simple. It looks mm -hmm. like you kind of made like a divot too. Yep, to make, the the little, to make the little nests. And that's really spring. I mean, you could obviously use yes. it for Easter, but just mm -hmm. any time during the spring season. Yeah. Um, and then exactly. up in front, what are these little molds that you have? So I just took um, regular Easter eggs um, and made up some granola, just like you would make granola bars. Okay. Um, and then put them in these little molds, or the eggs, and then they turn out to be little granola eggs. So is it pretty easy fun. to get the granola into it too? It is, yep. Just pack them in, and I actually put these in the freezer to... Um, make them more compact and added some little spring sprinkles to it to make it a little fun. Yeah, so. more spring and Easter themed mm -hmm. because I've definitely made, you know, they call them like the energy bites or yeah. granola bars, but I've never added sprinkles into yeah. it. But it, you can see and the little are, pop of color. These are just fun for kids too. It's kind of yeah. fun for them to eat out of the little egg. And then of course we just have some little things around here too and that's just mm -hmm. fruit, but you cut yep. it a special way. Just cantaloupe and watermelon. So again, just a fun way for kids to explore those fruits um, using just little cookie cutters. Just make it more fun. Now we are going to demonstrate one. Yes. So we have two apples, favorites. right? Mm -hmm. Explain what you have set up and then I will. you can tell me what to do next. So I just hollowed out an apple um, and then we've got some licorice and I just prepared a bunch of different fruit and we're gonna make little fruit baskets. Okay, so I'm gonna take the Twizzler. Yep, so you're gonna take the Twizzler and you're gonna put it in. So it's the handle. It's the handle, yep. Now does this stay in once I get the it fruit? It will. In? Yep, the really? fruit the fruit will kind of hold it down. And then I just scoop it in. Yep. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. And then you can just eat the apple too after. Yep. And this again, you know, kids can they can scoop it in if they want to pick it up with their fingers and put, you know, if they have certain fruit that they, that they want that they like. But that's um, me. Pick the fruit that I like, right? Good way to explore. How did you get the kinds. apple scooped out so well? I just use like a little scooper. Okay, um, like an ice cream scooper yeah, or one like of those a, cookie? Yep, the little cookie ones, um, and just scooped it right out. And okay. I put some lemon in there so they didn't turn oh, brown. Oh, yes, you cannot forget that yes. because they will turn brown. <laughs> so you can really prepare these ahead of time, too, if you just yes. have a bunch of fruit cut up. Yep. Okay, yep. I'm going to try and pick it up. Or will it come out? <laughs> no, you can pick it up. Oh, you just have to pick it up from the bottom. Oh, from the bottom. Yes. Yeah. Not from the handle. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Super simple, but it looks so cute. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. With this fruit as well, you made little fruit kebabs. Yep, so again, trying to keep the Easter theme. So using that Easter candy, but also putting in some healthy food with it, just making kebabs. Again, you can use any type of fruit. Um, these sticks have more pointy ends, so there are sticks that, like this one, um, that are smoother, a little bit safer for kids. So they don't um, have that sharp edge. Yep. Um, and you just and they can make a... whatever creations they want, so again, just Or fun. like a fruit full of pineapple would be mine. Yeah. <laughs> and kiwi, I like kiwi a lot. So you just put these on, but then you mm -hmm. had a little special touch at the end of it too. Yep, I got some 
some fun little peeps here. So did you buy them with the little sprinkles on it? Yeah, they have oh, so I've many different kinds like now. Are you a peep fan? I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm they not. look cute, but I'm not a fan of how they taste <laughs> no. at all. But I'm just going to eat Kids one. seem to like it, though, so. And then this no. one you just put right on top. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I love marshmallows, but for some mm -hmm. reason, Peeps. That's a birth, I think a birthday cake flavor. Ooh, mm -hmm. maybe that one would be good. So obviously yeah. I would add some more, but moving on to here mm -hmm. now, we have a couple more options. So cute. So just like little carrots, um, used pita bread, um, just cut into triangles. Um, I used hummus um, and then shredded carrots and then broccoli for the top. So again, it's a fun one. Um, with kids, they can do the shredding of the carrots. They can spread the hummus on, mm -hmm. or you know, you can use like a thicker ranch dip too. This little Easter bunny too. I'm guessing you <laughs> use baby bell cheese. Yep, baby bell cheese, um, little pieces of celery for the whiskers, um, and then baby carrots for the ears and the nose, and then little chocolate chips for the eyes, so. Oh, I love it, so you get that little chocolate piece in there. <laughs> yep. What did you put in the peppers? So the peppers are just sliced in half, and I use that Borson cheese, um, but again, you can make like any type of ranch filling, any type of filling you want, and then I just put a little dill for the top. That's really cute too, <laughs> super, super cute. All right, so there's the peppers. And then last, mm -hmm. over on the end, we have these little eggs. Super fun yeah. way, but you just filled it with some different... Different foods. It's a fun way um, maybe to do like a little lunch with your kids. So yeah. you just put different foods in the eggs and you you know, can serve it to them in the eggs instead of a plate. And again, it just kind of takes it up a level and makes it more fun. It can be a little surprise if you put it in their lunchbox, yes, right? Exactly. They don't know for sure what's in it. Exactly. Oh, I love it. These are all <laughs> such cute ideas. Thank you so much for coming in and demonstrating how to make them. Yes, thanks. Stick around. We still have more Kelloland Living coming up in just a few minutes.